Hello guys, we're just going to do a quick video on a painting a ceiling in the bathroom where the walls are tiled. We're going to use this clean edge tape and hopefully we'll be able to get a really nice clean line all the way around because sometimes it's a little uneven but using this you should get a nice finish. First of all, we're going to put this clean edge tape around and try and get a nice consistent line. Press down that leading edge, which I think I showed you guys before on another little video we did. I'll keep it nice and even. There is a good reason why we're using the clean edge tape. See how the tile's being cut? And what we'll be able to do is, doing it this way, we'll eliminate all those steps in it. Same as the sort you just open it out like that. And then you just press that leading edge down there so we don't get any paint seeping underneath. And that's what's going to give us the clean edge. See how tight it is there, the tile in there. And then if I pull that away, look how far away it is there. There's a big gap and that just looks not right. So when we're using this tape, we're balancing out that gap. And this also, as well as getting a nice clean line, it also speeds up the painting process. There you go. Another good reason for using the tape is because it's so much quicker to paint the ceiling. The amount of time it took me to put this tape round, that would have been a fraction of the time what it would have been to try and cut in, and then the line wouldn't have been as good, even though I am good at cutting in not as good as what it's going to look when I finish this. Okay guys? I'm just masking up everything because when you roll her in you get these little tiny fine spots. It's called sparking. So when you roll her, if you don't cover things up like that, they end up on top of it. Same here. Paint we're using today guys, durable mat, brilliant for showers, cubicles, kitchens, staircases, high wear areas, that's the stuff to use. But we'll get a coat on it first and if there's any imperfections I'll rub them out. I can see one straight away there, that little dink up there. That'll get a bit of sandpaper in a minute. See, and there's no cutting in. starting to show up. Little imperfections in the ceiling like there. Didn't notice those, but now we put a coat on it. You do notice them, so what we do is after the first coat, we'll, we'll rub those down. sure there's no paint on the inside edge. I've just got to cut that lantern in. Right we've gone around the edges, cut it all in, gone around the lights, the shower head. Now what we're going to do is just roll it now and then let it dry before we put the second coat on. Probably one of the easiest things you can do is roll it.
then. There you go, guys. There's the first coat. As I pointed out earlier, there was a few little nicks and things on the ceiling. We're going to give it a denib when that's dry. Give it a second coat. Whip the tape off. Then you see a nice clean line all the way around. Nice and even. Okay, guys. As you can see now, the ceiling's dry. Got a bit of sandpaper now. And we're going to denib it. There we go, look, as you can see, I've just denibbed everywhere. I've rubbed it down a bit further in some areas. For all these areas now, they're gonna need another little touch up before we give it the second coat. But because they're only small localized areas, we should be fine with that. Gotta make sure we've rubbed back to a, an edge. You have to rub it down until you get that edge back, until it's firm. Now we need to touch those bits in, which wasn't in the script. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna start second coating now. When we cut it in, then we're gonna roller it. And then we're gonna take the tape off. drag it off the edge so you don't get a fat edge take it away from the edge not up onto it take it away like that Trimless lights back in. Now we should have a nice clean line. way of painting a ceiling two coats with a denib in between with the durable mat paint for the bathroom and using the clean edge tape against the tile so you can get a nice clean edge if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe below you've been watching build with a and &E.